again, it's Jim, Extreme Booters, um, Midlands Charity Shop Tour 2020, day three. Today I am in the lovely town of Evesham, um, absolutely beautiful place, uh, got the River Avon running through it, lovely, and loads of charity shops as well. Um, so I'm going to stop here and have a look round, and then on my way back I need to stop at Ulster, or Alcester, but it's pronounced Ulster, um, and I think there's four or five charity shops there as well. So I'm going to do uh, Evesham and Ulster today. Hopefully um, do better than yesterday. Although Coventry, let's be fair, I did pretty well. Um, so I've got probably eight to ten charity shops, assuming they're all open. Um, and hopefully we'll get some good stuff. So uh, let's go and have a look. Right, hi guys. Um, yeah, Evesham. Um, lovely place. I do love Evesham. Um, I've been there many times, um, but not for charity shops, for, for various fishing things that are up under the river. Um, <coughs> but yeah, did good again today. Um, a good um, array of items and some things that I just, I've never bought before, but I thought I'd take punts on. Have they worked? Well, let's have a look. So, yeah. Um, not quite as many things as yesterday. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. I think it was fifteen yesterday, so near enough. So really good. So this work that I'm doing is really working. I'm really getting some good stock in. Um, yesterday I think it was over two hundred pound profit, and today, well, let's have a look. Um, one of the first pickups was this Hornby. No, not train, but Hornby recorder. Um, it's in really, really good condition. I paid $1.99 for it. Um, not worth a huge amount, maybe a tenner to 12, um, but a good return of two pounds, not too bad. Um, I saw this, didn't research it, just bought it because it's crazy. It's this um, martini beer glass, but it's not quite a glass. It's a foot, <laughs> it's a beer foot. Hello! <laughs> yeah, um, it was $8.99, but they just reduced it to $4.99. I thought, novelty, that's going to sell. So I bought that, $4.99. Um, no martini one by beer, beer on uh, eBay, but a similar glass boot, beer glass, sort of a 15. Um, so yeah, not too bad. But just bought it because it's just weird. And uh, that's how I roll. Um, pair of trainers. These are Ralph Lauren um, Polo. Bit worn on the inside. 
um, what are they? Size 10 UK, grey suede, sort of high toppy type, type things. Bought them because they were £3, they've just been reduced. Not worth a huge amount, surprisingly. I mean, obviously, Ralph Lauren stuff's quality stuff, it's worth a lot of money. And for these, I'm looking at 12 to 15, so I'm probably going to go 12 95 because there is a bit of a wear on them. But they are nice shoes. Um, a pair of better shoes is neat. Kind of people will probably recognise them. And these are Nike Air Harachi. And very, very good trainer. They're in good condition. There's not much wear on the sole or anything. They do need a clean, but that's not an issue. Um, we're looking again at a size 10. These had just been reduced. They were £5.50 originally, but they've been reduced to £2. A £2 for Nike Air, no problem at all. You're going to buy them. But Harachis, I'm looking at 50 to 60, maybe 65 for those. So really, really good return. Quality trainers, two pound, love it. A um, couple of bits of clothing. Um, I bought this, I didn't really know what it is. It's a Nike uh, top with removable sleeves and um, this weird sort of belt clip at the back. But I still honestly don't really know why those that, that's there. I'm presuming it's for running or something like that. Um, Cause you've got the, Big bit on the front for your iPod to go in, that's for your headphones, obviously. Um, I think it's for running, um, I'm not sure. It's size small adult. I bought it because it was it was three pounds. Um, any Nike top that's quality is gonna sell. Um, similar ones, not quite the same, around 15 quid. I'll research exactly what it is. If it is a running top, I might be able to push that price up just a little bit more. In the same shop, most of this came from um, Sue Ryder, in fact, was this lovely, lovely Lee and Jack. It's a XL men's, and this was reduced. It was seven fifty initially, reduced to three pounds. That's a bargain, absolutely shot. Lovely quality, brilliant jacket. So three pound, thirty pound easily. So that's a good return. I've, I've bought similar stuff to this before. It's a Cotton Traders England Rugby Polo shirt. Um, this one was £2.99. So I've bought very similar, not this exact one before, but very, very similar ones and sold them for £14.95. So I see no reason why that will not be the case for that one. I saw this in this little leather uh, velvet pouch in the cabinet underneath the till. And what attracted me was Zippo. I didn't exactly know what it was, um, but I thought it's Zippo. Zippo stuff's quite collectible and worth a bit of money. Uh, it was four ninety nine originally nine ninety nine. They'd reduced it to to four ninety nine. I didn't know what it was. I've researched it. It's actually a hand warmer, so I don't precisely know how it works. Um, but I'll obviously um, work out how it works to make sure it's all working. Um, but yeah, it's a hand warmer, Zippo hand warmer. Paid four ninety nine. Unfortunately, it's only probably worth ten. So it's a good price. I didn't, good job. I didn't pay the full price of nine ninety nine because that would have been bang on the value. So after postage and fees, I'm literally going to break even. So that punt did not work out at all. But at least I'll get my money back for it. Pop that back in its little pouch. Um, jigsaw, you've probably seen these. I've picked up one before, Jean Van Van Hes, Van Hasteren. Um, I got put onto these by um, Kieran at Rummage Around and also uh, Master of Pieces. They pick these up all the time and make money for them. It was expensive, four ninety nine, but um, they sell easily. Um, they, they are a real, really easy sale. A thousand piece one, probably around 15 quid. So I'll take that. Um, what else did we find? The rest of it, I think, is tennis rackets. I, I went over to the corner and saw a tennis racket and then there were several other ones as well. So I bought all of them. This is a bit of a retro job. It's a Wilson rack attack um, uh, racket. It's in pretty good condition, 
for what it is. Um, three pound that one, only probably worth 10 to 12. So not particularly a, a very good uh, racket, but they do get better. This is a Slazenger um, XL98. That's quite a nice racket, actually. There is a bit of wear on the top. That's where you, when people swing for the ball and scuff the floor, they tend to scuff. There's also some tennis balls in there, so that's a bonus. Um, that one, again, was £3. And that one's worth 10, 20 to 25 Especially with the bag. Obviously, with the bag, you can charge a little bit more. Uh, this one, although it was with them, is obviously not a tennis racket. This one is a, if we can get it out of the bag, a badminton racket. Um, Carlton Airblade, really, really nice. Quite expensive when new, these ones, because um, it is a quality racket. Um, that was, for some reason, £4. Um, and that one, again, is worth 20 maybe 22 to 25 we'll see. Um, but I'm more than happy with 20 Best of the lot is this. Wilson Roger Federer. I've sold this exact racket about two weeks ago. Um, this is in good condition again. It's the Roger Federer 27. So he's signed by, well, not signed by, but you know, the print signature. Again, really good condition. But this one has the bag. The one I sold a couple of weeks ago, I believe, was 27.95. But obviously, I've got the case with this one, so I can push that up to over 30. And that one again was three pounds. So all in all, you know, you've shown I spent £45. My return before fees, before postage, etc. is around £2.50. So after fees and stuff, I'm probably going to clear um, £130, £140 profit. So I am more than happy with that. Yeah, really nice place, Evesham. I'll definitely be going back for them charity shops. There was some really good stuff in there. Um, really, really happy. Um Tomorrow, well, actually today, I've been to Daventry. Um, checked online, there was six or seven charity shops in the middle of Daventry. So we'll see what that leads to. Um, but yeah, that was Evesham. Again, really pleased. Really good money I've made on that one. Let's keep this going. Um, this is gonna, I'm doing the job for my wife's company for approximately six weeks. So this has been the first week. I've still got another five weeks i may be revisiting the same sort of places but we'll see um but it's working really well for me i'm getting the stock in although i'm not having the getting as much time to list the stuff because obviously i'm out and about on the road for four or five hours a day um i am getting a lot of stock in so that is an absolute bonus so let's see what Daventry um yields thanks for watching guys stay tuned for the next one see you later